I see both. I see physical venue and I see electronic environment. Uh, also what I see is uh, a lot of new technologies, changing technologies, various types of technologies for various uh, for various needs of different user groups. What I see, I see that the importance of uh, education, of providing space and content for both for uh, informal and uh, formal education, uh, this, this role increases when we talk about libraries or telecenters. Um, even with uh, expansion of the online education, like MOOC, uh, telecenters and li public libraries, uh, they are in a great position to, to, to be a guide through online education or even if it's education on-site. Also, a role of co-increases. It can be co-learning, co-creating. There are so there are many libraries already now in Europe who, who, who promote co-creating within communities. Like public library in uh, Veria in Greece, the, together with their community members, they they build robots, and yeah, they, those are community members, not n community me members, not uh, rocket scientists. These are maker spaces, and also in Orhus, they are building the library of tomorrow, ur urban media space. So I, can, I I I think that we can see some examples of library of tomorrow already now. I don't think there is one best uh, method how can librarians uh, or digital teachers or facilitators could be trained. There are many methods and, and, and they keep changing and, and so on and if only they work well it's a good method I would say. Uh, more importantly I think is to, to pay attention to two other things. Uh, first point is it is very important to make sure that librarians and other e-facilitators are recognized as, as, as uh, teachers of uh, ICT skills. And it's important that they are recognized uh, in a cross-sectorial level, not only within their communities, their fields. Uh, the other thing I think uh, which is important about training of the staff is just the fact that training never should stop for them. With this rapidly changing information environment, uh, as being information specialists, they cannot afford to be to stop to stop being trained. So just training never stops for them. I think. I believe that public libraries. Uh, have already became uh, as community centers in, in, in many places, especially in Latvia where, where most of libraries are uh, rural libraries, they are, uh, they are serving rural communities and 70% of them are single staff libraries which mean uh, that there is only one staff person serving, uh, serving all the needs uh, of the communities within the library. Uh, in my, I have in my mind this one library in Latvia, in Jaunklidzis, where uh, it's in a very remote place, a rural area with 300 inhabitants. They don't have a shop anymore in the area, they don't have a post office anymore, etc. But they have their library. And what they did, they, they put a real considerably big for them investment into public libraries so they made this uh, they even call it community center which means that this is not only library for, for them this is also a meeting center the doctor comes there once a week the hairdresser comes there once a week the local theater amateur theater is, is, is uh, gathering there every week so library already there is, is, a, is, a, is a central central place in, in a community and um, uh, this this kind of model it's uh, it is developing in in Latvia especially in rural places and I believe that for many other European countries uh, 
this uh, this this is a solution. Uh, this is a solution for local governments to invest in public libraries or telecenters uh, to to make it as a center of life of local communities.